As we've been working in partnership with the Africa Union, WHO and others to strengthen regulatory systems, one issue that has been very clear is that within the regulatory agencies, the ability to measure performance of their work was very limited. This has an impact on access to medicine, and that's what we care about. That was the undercurrent for this work. We're here in Nairobi, Kenya, kicking off this Grand Challenges program, focusing on strengthening regulatory data systems. We are going to have intensive support for seven countries by us working together as AMRH and Broadreach will achieve results of building systems, processes, collecting data, defining KPIs, measuring performance on results, as well as ultimately are contributing the broader goal of improving access to medicines and medical products. So that's the exciting part about this initiative that is going to allow them at the end of the day to have processes that are clear, they have a common way of measuring their performance, they have a common language around the data that they are collecting and they can share that information. The big picture is harmonization on the continent. These are beginning steps that we are taking but the lessons learned here is going to be beneficial to also ensure that at the end we have a good system of measuring the performance we are doing what we are supposed to do ensuring that the patients in the country have the medicines at the right time which are safe and efficacious the concept of harmonization you start small in a particular region and then you expand so this is essentially we are seven here who are starting small we expand and we are excited very, very grateful to Biri and Merinda Gates Foundations for granting us this grant that will strengthen our system. But we'll also be supporting our neighbors in the region. So this is a very, very challenging exercise for us, but something which is achievable. And there is also the opportunity to learn from those who have lived more than the level of our country and are having a, a kind of a community of best practice. We've been able to get at least different solutions that we are going to try to see how we can overcome the challenges that we are facing. And now we have learned to how to handle and manage the resistance to change of the users because most of the challenges comes from the resistance to change of our user group. What has gotten me excited is, is the prospects of collaboration, having 10 countries discuss their systems and laying the foundation for uh, being able to work together, share together uh, and walk through the journey for an exciting two years. In person have so many advantage and particularly they trust each other and they share experience on top of the formal communication. We have this very large disease burden, limited resources. We need really to be so innovative to come up with a solution that is going to help us be more effective and provide access to efficacious and safe products for our population. The whole point of the conference was about data and systems and standards and yet what I had kept hearing today and what I think is ultimately the big takeaway is it's about people. I've been struck by the massive amount of desire and willingness to address this issue. In two years it would be really exciting to see this group coming together and bringing some guidelines and best practices that could be used across the continent but also guidelines that could be used globally as well. What success will look like in two years time each of the agencies has been able to progress their ability they are able to measure their performance they've built a culture of performance measurement now we have empowered them because this is about the agencies that they can identify their own issues and address those issues.